Welcome, Tony Explore Crypto Channel here. And in today's video, we will continue our series about Raspi Blitz, the small form factor Bitcoin and Lightning Network node for your Raspberry Pi and other small computers. So, because this project is already in the version 1.5 and 1.6 is in the testing phase uh, it has a ton of utilities i wasn't uh, looking at that last year because all of these things were in super experimental stage and right now it's uh, it's very well made uh, very well developed so today we will do two things we will install uh, tor the on your router uh, on our Bitcoin and Lightning Network node on Raspberry Pi, and also we will connect uh, Electrum. We will install Electrum server on top of Raspberry Pi that fetches the data from our Bitcoin, which is on our SSD, our external hard drive connected to the Raspberry Pi, uh, and we will leverage it creating Electrum server on the same machine that every wallet that we own uh, can connect to. So let's start the video. What is Tor? You can check computer files video on Onion Routing, but in short, it's a way of encoding your internet traffic and obfuscating your location. Sounds like a great application for Bitcoin and Lightning nodes, so I will activate it today in my Raspberry Blitz, guiding you through the process. Raspberry Blitz nodes have a specific color coding for your main screen, red connections mean you run in clearnet and some of the ports may be closed, this allowing external parties to open channel to your nodes and two-way communication in general. Orange, you are good to go with your setup, but it would be better to run behind Tor. Green, node is behind Tor, great. Today, we will make our node look green across the board. Activating Tor connection on Raspberry Blitz node is very simple and straightforward. In main menu, go to services and in this tab, choose run behind Tor option by pressing a spacebar, then confirm with enter. You will get a warning about privacy trade-offs. Basically, you can only gain except when you have a node with history on ClearNet like I did, as I did a full blockchain download through ClearNet and set up a LND node also in ClearNet. In this case, some trace to my identity may still happen. Let's say I don't care too much about it and I treat it as a software experiment, having other ways of protecting my privacy, like coin joining funds that I use to open channels. After the warning and acknowledging the idea of rebuilding wallet from scratch to gain privacy, which I won't do, uh, the scripts run in the background installing components. It may take up to 5 minutes after the initial process, Raspberry Blitz will reboot, so you will have to log back in through SSH session. Just to check if everything is fine, I look at my status screen and it looks so green. In the lightning URL of my node, the address now isn't just IP, but the onion address. Obviously, it's searchable on 1ML and in the lightning protocol. What are the cons of this setup? There has to be something otherwise everyone would use it. So, as onion routing requires encryption, decryption and hopping through endpoints, it's slightly slower than using ClearNet. It's only visible to user when syncing the nodes from scratch, so it's mostly a one-off. It's additional dependencies. Some protocols don't have capabilities to connect to Tor node if you are into managing your node remotely. Having smartphone app paired is an example, not all apps support Tor. Also, when receiving on routing payments, on the route you use, some nodes have to enable SOX5 protocol used in Tor for your node to receive or route payments. The best way of connecting is to open a channel to bigger nodes supporting SOX5 and receive inbound capacity from other Tor node. Because making a video about clicking one button and describing the process may be pretty boring, let's click another button and I will explain why I did it. So I'll finish this video with installation of another self-sovereign Bitcoiner tool, Personal Electrum Server. As always in Raspberry Blitz, go to Services, 
in menu, select Electron Rust server by pressing spacebar and confirm with Enter. It will start fetching and installing packages and I will describe why is it so cool. Imagine you want to set up any wallet, for example on desktop. You would download Electron Wallet and it would connect to other wallet providers using Electron protocol, as obviously you don't want to download the whole Bitcoin history of 300 plus gigabytes, it's a lot. Same with most of the mobile wallets out there. If they don't use wallet provider's node, which is terrible privacy, they have to communicate with the Bitcoin node by some SPV enabling software. SPV being simple payment verification. This attitude lacks privacy, of course, on the route between your wallet and Bitcoin node may be a person or a company that listen to your wallet queries. Even with filters, it's easy to combine what your wallet was asking for and relate your IP address to your addresses, cluster them into wallets and activity graph. Huge privacy cluster That's why what I'm doing right now is installing Electrum Rust server on my Raspi Beats. It will create the database that is much easier to search than Bitcoin database because Bitcoin is optimized for speed of downloading and confirming new blocks, while Electrum can obfuscate some of this logic towards reading address and transaction data. When processing blocks for indexing Electrum database on Raspberry Pi, it can take up to a day. After a successful Electrum installation, on a Raspberry Pi site, now you can connect to it. In my case, I downloaded a fresh and most recent Windows installation package of Electrum for desktop and I connected it to my Raspberry Blitz. This connection will only work when my laptop is in the same local network as my Raspberry Blitz. If you want to connect remotely, use the string that is shown in Raspberry Blitz Electrum module to connect through Tor browser. Now, having this private connection, I can make a video about few hardware wallets I am testing. Now, instead of giving these companies all my private information by using their proprietary apps, I can connect the wallets to desktop Electrum, which fetches data from Rust Electrum on my Raspberry Beats, which takes data from my onion rooted Bitcoin node. Stealthy and sovereign as f. Okay, two buttons have been clicked. I explained a bit what's going on with Tor and Electrum installation on Raspi Blitz. Next video will be more fun. I will open some channels on Lightning Network, receive inbound liquidity and explain basics of channel balancing. Till then, have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.